Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's OGC here. So today we are going to have a pretty cool video. Um, have you been playing the game for a while and you just don't know what to do now? Perhaps you are really interested in finding a house where one of the main languages, if not the main language, is English. Perhaps you are looking for a family type of environment, or perhaps you really want to be competitive in the game. Well, I have some cool stuff that we're going to go over in this video. I don't do this stuff often. I, this might be a, like a first for me, but we're actually going to look at three different houses where the primary language is English uh, that, that you can, guys can join. And I'll give you all the information to apply and try to join these houses. So three different houses. Uh, mainly English speaking, uh, probably at least 90%. Uh, there could be some other languages, but the primary form of communication is English. Each one has a unique and different style. So let's jump in. Uh, in the first one that I'm going to show you guys, um, it is a uh, it's a pretty pretty interesting house. Um, it's actually called uh, Blood Moon. So the first one <laughs> we're going to look at is it's actually going to be Blood Moon. So Blood Moon is currently in Drake, uh, but we will be returning to server 40. So if you guys are interested, feel free to send um, send Chip a, a message. Um, his ID is up there, so just pause it and, and talk to him. Uh, also send uh, Chan a message. Uh, Chan's probably your best bet. Uh, her ID is up there as well. And uh, the other person is... Make sure that you guys all send uh, send Strap Corn a message. He's one of the leaders. Just tell him that he smells funny. Just do that for me, please and thank you. In a, in a private message, just tell him that he smells funny. Anyways, so with Blood Moon, one of the cool things with Blood Moon is um, Blood Moon is a competitive house. We're able to do the Clash of Fate Championships. If you guys have watched any of the Clash of Fate Championship stuff, uh, it is uh, it's, it's pretty cool what we can do. However, uh, we're not to the point of competitiveness where we're going to destroy our house or hand over control of the house or anything like that to people that are just mad strong simply because we want them here. Um, Blood Moon is not going to go out and beg anybody to join us. Uh, it, that's not how it works. If people want, want to come to Blood Moon, like if they really want to come and, and play with us, uh, then those are the people that we're interested in. Uh, it is on server 40. So this is going to be server 40 uh when we're back from drake so that being said you you need to be decently strong just because it's an older server you don't want to get bullied absolutely should be like level 45 or something as far as your castle and have decent core like you, you need to be able to defend yourself for clash of fate uh especially for the championships everything is based off of your score for the tower so uh you have to be in the top 30 uh for the house in in tower as far as points that's how you make it on the team so if, if you're if you're coming and you just want a spot in clash of fate um cool uh make sure that you can actually get there uh so and anyways it's a really cool house i have no regrets since since joining um i have to put these guys out there just because that's where i am and where i found so much happiness and growth for me however this is not just about uh me and blood moon we have two other houses to look at so let's look at them the uh the the next one is actually going to be on uh server whoops uh wrong thing it's actually going to be on server uh, 55. So if we go to 55, uh, we can actually see the house and uh, you guys can get the information to uh, send them a, a message. It's going to be under the Purple Kingdom. Uh, so this is one, one of the players that, that you can send a message to. This is Team at EG, AKA Men in Black. So this is the end game house. Um, with the end game house, all of the players in there, for the vast majority, I have played with uh, for at least a year, year and a half. In fact, the person that pushed me to start this YouTube channel is currently in the house uh, promoting everything. And um, so this is a smaller house. So com comparatively to uh, to other places, uh, it's not the biggest house in the whole wide world. They, they have uh, six cities. Um, even even their, their core power is good, but it's, it's not... They're, they're not the, the, the top. So here's the deal with Endgame. They are a tight-knit, family-oriented uh, group of players. 
they don't necessarily need and or want to be in a giant house and have all this stuff. They rather have like a bunch of people that they want to get close to and in a small group of friends and just enjoy the game for what for what it is. And instead of trying to, you know, sacrifice other things to get pushed to that next level, they rather just play with each other regardless of, uh, you know, what, what happens. So people like team at with like the highest score they're actually sacrificing some of their growth to to play with with people so my recommendations if you are interested in this house is uh let's go check out their recruitment posts ourselves all right so this is off of the uh facebook thing so it's the eg team and they are inviting new members to join is server 55 uh purple and it's uh end game so a little bit about them they're a close-knit group of uh, lost souls fighters thinkers Comedians, poets, animal lovers, vigilantes, protectors, and survivors, we are fiercely loyal. I can attest to that. These guys are some of the most loyal people I've ever met. Uh, we are unwavering in our principles. We are extremely protective of our families and allies. We do things a bit differently than what other houses do. So that that's absolutely true. They will... Um, Look, guys, if a whale comes and they attack you, uh, they will sit in the capital with you. Every, every person of the house will uh, basically commit service suicide and, and sit in the house with you. That's how protective they are of each other. They will not leave anybody behind. Uh, they are fantastic people. So uh, they have uh, something special among us. Uh, they want uh, to share their unbreakable bond with everyone. And uh, for more details, uh, message uh, the, the following people. So if you're on the Facebook thing, feel free to message them. If you're uh, in-game, just rewind, look at TMS uh, uh, numbers for the screenshot that, that I did or the thing that popped up um, and send him a message. So right now they're top uh, kingdom power. Basically talk to them and they'll work things out with you. So the benefits of going to them is you don't have to be uh, crazy high core power. They're going to they they want people that want want to play with them in in that kind of smaller house mentality where everybody knows everybody and everybody has everybody's back even if they make a mistake. So feel free to check them out. Again, I highly recommend them. Played with all of these people for. Uh, you know, the longest period of time that, that I've been doing this game. So the next one is actually uh, a, a friend uh, named Taint. So Taint is actually re recruiting uh, for Cursed Nation. So if, if you know him from uh, the Facebook group, uh, he's wildly popular there. Like th this guy is unreal. Um, feel free to uh, send him a message on Facebook. If you are uh, in game uh, in any of the community chats, feel free to, uh, his name will pop up in the community chats all the time. Just send him a message or if you see somebody else from uh, Curse, uh, Curse Nation, uh, feel free to send them a message as well. So right now what they're looking for, they're putting out inquiries for recruitment into Curse Nation. They're looking for active players of middle to high core, uh, at, at least like uh, 2.5 million, who are willing to take part of the team and uh, put the mission of the house first. Single, uh, singular players and or smaller groups preferred as not much space to merge with uh, full houses. So they aren't looking for a full house. They're looking for, you know, individuals that want to change pace. Please comment here that uh, you have sent me a PM. Uh, please inc include your core server currently on in level of play. So give them some background. Uh, you don't have to be a monster at PvP. Everyone can bring something different to the table. They plan to... So for Curse Nation, they don't want to be in Nor uh, very often. They want to be... Uh, they just want to keep doing Drake over and over. And that's a great mindset because you're you're going to fall behind if you say in Nor. Um, so they are a, another really good house to consider. I'll try and pull up uh, Taint's thing. That, that way you guys can get the ID code. So if you guys are interested in uh, Curse Nation, uh, you can see the ID code for Taint up here. Uh, I highly recommend, guys, if, if you guys are a stronger player, um, like like I, I would say like closer to 3 million core and higher, you're active, and uh, you're looking for some really, really competitive team play, I, I shoot them a message. Um, they are looking to, to, to get people to become stronger. Uh, mostly the individuals or the small, like a couple friends here, here and there, they aren't looking to merge with uh, huge houses. So they are uh, highly competitive. Uh, when they go to Drake, like uh, they take this stuff super serious. They're very coordinated. Um, so I, I would say out of the three, they probably take the competitiveness to the next level. Um, Blood Moon, I, I think is... Uh, very very competitive but they they'll sacrifice some of the competitiveness for the greater good of the house um the, the mentality is that you're never going to leave anybody behind and the group of players always comes first 
Uh, and then finally, we have um, the house with uh, Tiamat and Dupius and, and everyone else, where it's a smaller house and competitiveness uh, it is secondary uh, and kind of that close connection with everyone uh, kind of comes first. So I know this is uh, mostly for players that are, um, you know, a, a little bit stronger, but these are some English houses that maybe maybe you can't go there yet, but you can aspire to join uh, down the road or, you know, just people to, to get in contact with uh, when you are ready for that sub. So any of these houses, Blood Moon, um, End Game, and Curse Nation, all three of them, I know a ton of people. I can personally attest that they are great people in the house. Uh, Curse Nation, I don't know all the people, but the people I do know from there are like literally amazing. All three of the houses, I personally would consider joining. Um, if it was me, I, 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 any three of these, I would be happy in that house if they accepted me. They'd probably turn me down because I'm really not that good at anything. So anyways, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, Curse Nation is fantastic. Go check them out. Uh, we also have the end game. They're fantastic in Blood Moon. So Blood Moon really isn't uh, recruiting right now. However, I got to throw them out there. If you guys have a strong desire to, to play with uh, uh, Blood Moon or, or play, play with me, uh, definitely shoot uh, Chip Chan and Shopcorn uh, a message. Uh, but they aren't really actively seeking. Curse Nation, definitely actively seeking. So if you are more on that competitive edge, de definitely shoot them a message. But anyways, I, I thought I'd switch things up and give you guys some uh, some re really good uh, host information for English speaking. The last thing is the server that Curse Nation is on when they're not in Drake, I believe it's somewhere between 100 and 115, somewhere around there. I could be wrong, but that's where I think that it is, um, just so you guys know. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I, I know it's a, a little bit weird. It's definitely off, off the, the beaten path. Um, we're doing things a little bit different. Hey, that's okay. So uh, get out there, get into a good house, and um, yeah, I hope, hope you guys stay safe with everything going on. As always, please take a moment to uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, all that cool stuff in the description of this video and all videos. We have some wicked cool stuff. We have the OGC Community Discord where you guys can go and get a bunch of cool information. We have the... Uh, what is it, the merch store, where you guys can go get some sweet swagger before the world ends, because if you're going out, you might as well go out in style. And we also have Patreon, so thank you to Patreons both past and present. Uh, the Patreons bring this stuff uh, possible. Uh, without them, I, I don't know where we would be. Uh, and I, I think most of the Patreons are probably in Endgame, uh, or, or were at some point in time. So anyways, uh, thank you guys to, to every everyone. I hope you guys check out the houses, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.